Good day, everyone. I read an anecdote the other day, which I feel I have to share with you. And I based my video on it. It is called Value Your Values. The late J.R.D. Tata had a very close friend. But this friend was a little careless about everything. He wanted to do everything in a hurry and he was always losing things, particularly his pens. So he decided that he was going to use the very cheap ball pens so he wouldn't be bothered if it was lost. When he complained of his own habit of carelessness and his concern for that habit, to his friend, J.R.D. Tata, the latter told him, buy yourself a very expensive pen, as expensive as you can afford, and see what happens. And so the friend went out and bought a 22 carat gold cross pen. When he met J.R.D. Tata after about six months, Mr. Tata asked him how he was doing with his habit of carelessness. And the friend said, you know, I really don't know how I've changed. I've surprised myself because now I'm not careless anymore. And J.R.D. smiled and told him, it was not you who had the problem. It was your perception of what you value. You bought a very expensive pen and you took care of it because it was expensive. So in life, friends, we also value things which we value which are important to us. Nowadays, people seem to know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Values are like lighthouses. They are signals which give us direction, meaning and purpose. So I'm not talking here about material things. I'm talking about values. If you value your health, you are going to eat well, exercise well, you're going to look after yourself. If you value your friends, you are going to give them the same respect and courtesy that you want from them. If you value money, you will not spend too much and you will hold on to your savings for a time when you may need it. You will be more prudent. If you value your time, you will always respect the time for yourself and for others. You will be punctual and you will be valued for that value. If you value relationships, you will know how dear they are to you and will see that nothing comes in the way of that relationship. Because you know today a lot of people try to get in between other people because they envy the closeness of that relationship. Don't let yourself be swayed. Our perceptions of what we value is what is going to direct our lives. And I pray that all of us examine those perceptions and reach the values that are most important to us. Have a good life.